Okay, next up is our very first husky of the day. This is Alistair Brown's very nice. T well, hello again, all my YouTube browsers and subscribers. Thanks once more for tuning in to my world of classic dirt bikes. Now, in this featured video, we will be continuing the series of classic dirt bike startups with this uh, particular clip being, of course, part five. Now, there is more emphasis on the two-stroke machines in this particular clip. So, uh, if you're into your old classic smokers, then I'm sure you'll find something in here to amuse you. Now, the first bike we are going to feature on uh, this uh, classic dirt bike startups number five is this lovely 1965 British classic, a 250 Greaves Challenger. Yeah, you just can't beat the old ring-a-ding-ding -ding of an old uh, classic Greaves. Okay, our next bike up is this uh, very nice 1983 Husqvarna 510, which uh, belongs to Scottish rider Callum Wilson. Now, this bike has just been uh, restored after it was uh, caught up, unfortunately, in a fire. Okay, we're back to the uh, two strokers again, and this particular uh, Boltaco 250 Persang belongs to Kenny Harper, and this is just one of the many Boltaco bikes Kenny has in his collection.
Okay, as we move along, this uh, next featured machine is Bill Porches's uh, YZ465 Monoshock Yamaha. A very tidy uh, machine, this, and uh, Bill races this particular bike at uh, many of the Scottish Classic events that are held in Scotland throughout the year. Okay, the next bike up on our uh, Classic Dirt Bike Startups Part 5 is this very nice little 350 Yamaha. Now, this is a combination of a 1968 stroke 70 model, and uh, this particular bike has uh, brought Ian Robertson, the bike's owner, some great successes during 2018 riding this uh, lovely little hybrid machine. Okay, next up is our first Husqvarna of the day. This is Alistair Brown's very nice 250. Okay, next on our list, we are uh, back to the old British classics. Now, this is Craig McCoo, who is uh, going to start up his uh, very nice Greaves Griffin. <laughs> Now, of course, Craig has a collection of these old British uh, classics, and uh, now we're going to uh, watch him start up this very nice Greaves Challenger.
Okay, our next machine to be featured is this very nice Swedish 430 CR Husqvarna. Now, this particular bike belongs to John Porteous, and uh, John is also another one of the riders who race this particular machine with the Scottish Classic Motorcycle Racing Club. As the two-stroke smokers theme continues, we're going to move along now with this uh, nice 1981 250 reed valve Michael, and this particular bike belongs to Richie McFadden. <laughs> Now, it's no secret that this particular bike is uh, one of my YouTube favourites and uh, this, of course, is not a BAC, but it's a 1966 W1 SS650 Kawasaki. Now, it's uh, an imitation from the Japanese of the old BSA A10. Now, the reason it's one of my favourite sounding bikes is basically because it is just a little beauty. Okay, back to the uh, smokers again. This particular uh, 480 Honda was actually built for Jamie Law to race at the Nostalgia Scramble a few years back. Now, the bike was built by the very talented uh, Jim Parker. Now, Jim builds these machines to a very high standard, as you can see. And uh, he's just about to sling his leg over and try and uh, get this Japanese red rocket fired up.
Okay, as our two-stroke theme continues, this next bike is Billy Pentland's 1987 YZ490. Now, you may notice that this bike is not the original monoshock version of this machine. Billy has taken the original monoshock and converted this bike to run as a twin shock racer. And uh, I must admit, he's made a fantastic job of it, but uh, just let's uh, have a listen and see what she sounds like. Okay, now no classic dirt bike startup videos would be complete without using a couple of machines from the Brian Allardyce collection. Now we're going to feature two of Brian's machines here. This first bike, of course, is a fully restored 1982 430 CR Husqvarna, and uh, Brian uh, fully restored this bike a few years ago and uh, currently still races this at uh, twin shock meetings throughout the country now we've got another bike from brian's collection featured just after this so uh, in the meantime let's get this bike fired up <laughs> next featured machine from the Brian Allardyce collection is this immaculately restored 1981 495 KTM. Now these machines of course were absolute rocket ships in their day and uh, next to the 1981 490 Michael these have to go down in history as possibly the second best motocross machine of their time. Now Brian fully restored this machine to this fantastic condition and uh, he still uses this bike to this very day.
Okay, to finish off this uh, classic Dirt Bikes Startups Part 5 video, we're going to uh, conclude with this uh, 490 Michael that belongs to uh, Scottish twin shock rider Jim Grieve. <laughs> This video was brought to you in association with Wolf Sport Motocross Race and Leisure Wear and also in association with VMX Magazine, the world's undisputed number one publication for all your vintage and classic dirt bike motorcycles. <laughs>